six weeks and three days today, which means I have just under four weeks left to go until my due date. I wanted to talk about weight gain this week. I don't think I've updated on that recently. At this point, I have gained 24 pounds. My starting weight was 150 and I am at 174 at this point. So definitely like a healthy amount of gate of gait wane. <laughs> definitely a healthy amount of weight gain up to this point. I haven't really gained too much or too little, so that's good. I have been having a lot more contractions this last week, and I've always had the Braxton Hicks. They've always just been very like sporadic and random, but these last few days, I've been having contractions at night, of course. They're always at night. I feel like every single pregnancy I've ever had, my contractions start to pick up at night, and I think it's just because my body like sort of gets tired, but four or five days ago i was having contractions that were every six minutes apart and that kind of freaked me out a little bit because i'm still a little bit too early um to have this baby <laughs> at home anyway i have to make it to 37 weeks which will be this sunday and today's wednesday so i have a feeling that this kid is just gonna like trick me and like show me all the signs because it like dropped already and i'm having these contractions and i'm gonna go like super overdue still <laughs> like i'm like kind of expecting at this point that i'm not gonna make it to my due date but at the same time like I don't know the logic part of me like I've never really not made it to my due date except with the twins technically but that was like with twins for one and for two I made it like very dang close to my due date so I really don't know this baby is just an all-around like surprise package like I have no idea when it's gonna come I'm very curious to see if this ends up being an October baby or if it wants to stay in and please it's mama and be a November baby <laughs> yeah like I was saying I was having contractions every six minutes all night long and they weren't I mean, it's kind of hard to judge like on a pain scale because like I've had two natural labors and one of the natural labors was with twins. So like nothing compares to that, but they were a little bit painful, not not even painful. I can't even classify them as painful, honestly, but they weren't just nothing. It wasn't just like my stomach hardening. I did feel like my back, I had pressure on my back. I had pressure in my stomach. So there was definitely like... It definitely felt more like a real contraction rather than just like a Braxton Hicks. And the fact that they were six minutes apart all night, I just kind of like forced myself to fall asleep. And when I woke up, they were gone and I haven't had them since. So I'm not sure what was going on that night, but I have been having contractions every night since, but no consistency whatsoever. It's just kind of like sporadic here and there, but they do feel like they're doing something. I feel like every time I have those contractions, my stomach gets like lower and lower and lower. And all of my friends keep commenting about how my, this baby looks like it's going to fall out. And I feel like it is going to fall out. Like I'm just walking along the street and I feel like it is so low. If I just like bend over a certain way, it's just gonna plop out and then you'll be like, oh, there's a baby. Also, since this kid is sitting so low, I have been having a lot of cervix pain, which I get with all of my pregnancies, but I've definitely been noticing that a lot more lately. I might have mentioned this last week, but there'll be times where I'll sit down, specifically if I'm like sit on the toilet or something, like at that kind of angle, you know, and then I go to get up and I have such a sharp cervix pain, I'm just like, I can't move. Like I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Oftentimes I'll just be walking throughout my house and I'll just like randomly get the cervix pain and it's like, I don't know how to explain it and I don't even technically know if it's my cervix. I've always kind of assumed it's my cervix, but it's like this sharp, sharp pain right where your cervix would be. And I'm guessing because the baby is like so low that that's what it is, but I don't know. It's painful, whatever it is. Speaking of painful, these babies' movements are so painful now. I feel like the kid is already like seven pounds just based off of like how my stomach feels and how the movements are feeling. Like, I don't know. I just feel like it's so big already. Like it's ready to come. I don't know if like maybe my due date was off or something. I don't know. There was a ultrasound. I think it was my 12 week ultrasound where all of the measurements were putting me at a due date of November 8th instead of November 13th. But since it's only like such a small difference, they didn't change my due date. If that is the case, then I would technically already be 37 weeks because I had like no period to go off of, like nothing, no signs or anything to really go off of at all except an ultrasound. My due date definitely has like a few days like room back and forth. So all of these symptoms that I'm having and stuff makes me think that maybe, just maybe I am really a little bit more further along than we originally thought, but I know that the earlier the ultrasound, the more accurate the ultrasound. And the first ultrasound that I got did put me at November 13th. Every ultrasound after that, the baby was measuring a little bit bigger. But I know a lot of the ultrasounds that I've been having did put me at 
um, an earlier due date instead of the November 13th. It was putting me more of like an early November. So who knows really? I just need to make it to Sunday, which I don't think is going to be a problem. And I'll probably go several weeks after that. Once Sunday hits, I am technically full term and I am good to go because in order to have a home birth, you do need to be 37 weeks where I live with my midwife. I don't know if rules are different in other places. Because the baby is still posterior, I have been sitting on my birthing ball pretty much like any chance that I get. Hopefully that will encourage the baby to turn. And last night, I feel like the baby might have actually turned anterior because it, it just felt very different. And on top of that, this is going to be the weirdest thing you've ever heard. For the first time ever, I don't think I have ever experienced this it's probably because my muscles are so split you can see like everything you can see elbows there has been times where I could feel the knuckles of the baby that's inside of me because there's literally it's so thin between me and the baby because my muscles are just gone and last night I got to experience seeing the baby practice breathe and that sounds absolutely insane but I ha I've never seen it with any of my other kids and I was just sitting there and you could literally see the baby doing breathing movements and i know it wasn't hiccups i know what the hiccups feel like i know it wasn't movement because i can feel the movement it's just like a, a very like specific feeling and it was literally the back of the baby which is also why i think that it had turned anterior although now today again i feeling all the limbs again but the position that it was in and what I was seeing I definitely think I was seeing the baby practice breathe and they do do that in the womb they definitely do practice breathe but it's not very common to actually see it and I wish I had videotaped it if I see it again I will definitely make sure that I grab a camera and tape it but it did some practice breathing for it was probably a good Mm, three to five minutes maybe and then it stopped and it got the hiccups <laughs> so I thought that was absolutely fascinating I've never seen that before I've seen it like with other people I've seen videos of it but I've never actually experienced it myself so that was insane definitely a good sign because that means that the baby is getting its lungs ready to come out into the real world <laughs> so that's pretty much it symptom wise this week um the only other thing is I have been getting really really anxious um I think like this whole pregnancy I have been probably I have held over the best not knowing the gender of this child like everybody around me at one point has been like uh, can we just like find out can we just go right now and just like go find out we don't got to tell anybody let's just go and I'm like no no that's you ruining the fun like there's so few surprises in life but as it's been nearing the end of my pregnancy I'm starting to get really anxious I am just like Shh. I think it's part of like the nesting kicking in I'm like wanting the house to be clean and wanting to buy everything and make sure everything's prepared and it's like because we're waiting to buy a bunch of things for the baby until we know if it's a boy or a girl, it's like just, I'm just like waiting. Like I just want it to be here. I just want to see and I want to be able to like go spoil the crap out of it. I know a lot of people are just like close your clothes and I totally agree and like my boys wear pink and Lilia plays with monster trucks and all that stuff. But like when it comes to like a little baby, like if I have a little girl, like there's just something fun about dressing a little girl in like tutus and bows while they have like no concept of, you know, like gender identity. That's probably why and that probably sounds crazy, but I don't care at all if it's a boy or if it's a girl or if that changes later in life you know but I'm just really excited to see not to say that I haven't put my boys in tutus and headbands because I definitely have done that as well so other than that that is pretty much it for this week I did finally find my tape measure that I was using like the rest of my pregnancy so I'm not sure if this is gonna be like off at all from the last few weeks because I haven't been able to find it and it was like in the most random place like I don't know, a kid must have put it there. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my 36 week belly. All right, so here is with the shirt on. And here is with the shirt up. Looks like I am at just over 44 according to this tape measure. So I think that is pretty much it for this week. I can't think of anything else to update on for this pregnancy this week. Let me know if you guys have any questions and I'll answer them in the comments below or in next week's video. Make sure you follow me on Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram. That's where you'll see me update the most. And other than that, I will talk to you guys on Friday for our Friday video. Bye.